A rock slide on I-40 has already cut off the main road into North Carolina. Well, today, another slide closes southern route along Highway 64, cutting Polk County in half in the process. It all happened early this morning in the Ocoee River Gorge near Ocoee Dam Number 2. But this afternoon, a second slide almost caught repair crews by surprise. Just minutes before, our crew of Bill Mitchell and Alan Fairbanks were standing in the path of that slide. They came back with some amazing video for you tonight that you'll see only on 12. Bill? Well, John, we're told that the recent rains loosened the big chunks of mountainside along the Okoe, creating a dangerous situation. They weren't kidding. If you've driven that road, you know it's both beautiful and a bit ominous. Well, today, perfect timing, good judgment by a state geologist, along with just plain good luck, kept a road crew job from becoming deadly. It was surreal, like watching a Hollywood epic. We were warned that another slide could hit right where we'd been standing, but you don't expect this. Here's what led up to that dramatic scene. The site is the 17-mile marker along the Okoe Dam where the rubber rafts are lost. About 6 o'clock this morning, a portion of the granite shelf gave way and fell onto Highway 64, blocking the westbound lane. TDOT hoped it would be cleared in hours, but it wasn't over yet. A couple of hours later, this boulder as large as a pickup fell onto the eastbound lane. TDOT crews brought in private contractors to break it up with an impact hammer. The operator was working directly under the shelf that collapsed less than an hour later. Geologist Vanessa Bateman drove all the way from the TDOT Geotechnical Office in Nashville and arrived about noon. Well, she was one we was waiting on, and it just so happened she got here, then it come down. Ms. Bateman heard noises in the rock base and immediately ordered everybody to move back. And you could hear it thumping. And that's what it sounded like, thump. And what it was, it was moving. Within half an hour, with all eyes on the mountainside, Vanessa Bateman's prediction came true. Yeah. TDOT workers and construction crews just a few yards away, east of the slide, are now at least 120 miles away. When will it reopen? Uh, I don't think one or two days. Look at the size of some of those rocks. Some of those rocks are as big as houses. Uh, it, it's it's going to take a while. Well, as you can imagine, we wanted to talk to TDOT geologist Vanessa Bateman, but she was on the other side, or as we mentioned earlier, about 120 miles away by road. But in our book, she is the hero of the day.